then another set of people will just watch without subscribing because they feel okay that when they subscribe they have to pay because of the word subscribe i don't know how many times i'm going to say it but let me just say this here again because i will keep saying it subscription on youtube is free of charge i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust hi beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is precious if you're new here if you're seeing this face this beautiful face for the first time thank you so much for clicking on this video and probably joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a good thumbs up so yeah i'm a youtuber based in nigeria i create all sorts of content beauty vlogs diys whatever i can lay my hands on actually that would be beneficial to you guys that's what i do here so in today's video from the title you can already tell i'm a growing youtuber based in nigeria like i said earlier so today i'm going to be talking about seven challenges or struggles small youtubers in nigeria go through number one on the list has to be what the electricity in this country is terrible yes i said what i said it's bad it's really horrible like for instance today i was supposed to film this video since morning and this is like um past six or thereabouts Okay, I don't have my other phone here. I've showed you guys the time. This is like past six, and I'm like they brought the light barely 30 minutes, 30 minutes ago. All my plans, all the things I had to do today, I had to call it up because I really wanted to shoot this video today. I'm like, I have to, I don't care, I don't want to know how, but I just need to shoot this video. I even have another video, I will link it up here. While I was shooting, they took the lights, like power went off. I mean, I've had that kind of um experience a couple of times but i decided not to edit that particular time so you guys can understand the struggles we go through like it's so crazy it's so crazy well i'm even lucky i'm even lucky to an extent because where i stay the life situation is not so bad compared to people who will stay for weeks months without seeing power like sometimes it happens to us maybe if something is faulty or they just want to go crazy right it happens but not all the time so yeah the second on my list is noise my goodness the noise oh god i cannot overemphasize on that like the noise is terrible right now you can hear a dog back i don't know if you can hear it like that's what i'm talking about my room is close to like the end of the house so there's another building across this one they are currently like they are, it's under construction so they're not even they're not around today that is why i can even film this video in peace sometimes even when they are not around you just be hearing different kind of noise up and down i mean this place is not soundproof right so any any little noise english any little noise like you can hear it but ever since i started using this um lapel microphone i think that's what it's called it's been kind of better because it, i don't know how it works but it, it tries to control the noise in the environment even the even my ac noise is nothing to write home about i always turn it off or like reduce the the what's it called like let's say the volume i just take it to the low lowest that's what that's that's all i do because the noise is is terrible like you want to create content and and most times this kind of noise like before you know you're distracted before you know you forgot so much you wanted to say before you know you're you've, you're off track like it's just it's so it's so annoying and but you can't just let that hinder you or stop you from creating content I and mean, this is what i signed up for so i'm going to do it regardless until things improve or gets gets better obviously yeah so the next on my list is network stroke data oh my god data in nigeria is so expensive expensive i mean they are they are affordable plans no doubt but for someone who does youtube those affordable plans will not work for you because to upload a video first of all do you know how many mb are using hmm. and the network will be so terrible that it will take hours just to upload a video and while you're while it's taking hours for the video to get uploaded your data is going 
your data is going seriously that's why what i've started doing now because i use a what's it called i use spectranet so i have like um free ninth plan so i try to upload my videos when it's free like i'll just leave it there and it can take like the whole night till morning then i'll then i like schedule it for when i want it to be up or like what i used to do before hmm. When I learned that that I could schedule my videos and I don't have to like post it at the, at the particular or I don't have to post it immediately finish uploading. So I try to upload my videos like a day before. Like I always try to upload it earlier now so that I don't lose so much data and I'm always ahead of time. I don't know if that makes sense. So yeah, like data is so expensive. You subscribe for a monthly plan, right? You subscribe for a monthly plan and in less than two weeks is it's out, like it's finished. So how is it a monthly plan? For a monthly plan, you subscribe like five times in one month. So how is it a monthly plan? It doesn't even make any sense. Like it doesn't make sense. If we can have like limited plans that are affordable, I swear it will be, it will, it will really do us so much good because data is really eating into someone's pocket. You guys, it's so so freaking expensive. So the next point I want to touch is if you watch me looking here, I have my notes. So yeah, that's why. So um. The next point I want to touch is support. So, most people in Nigeria, I don't, I'm not sure they understand how YouTube works, right? So once, most times someone like me now, who is still growing, right? Whenever I post a video, I send like a broadcast to my WhatsApp contact, to different people. Like I have a new video on Instagram, on my story. Please try to subscribe, try and watch. Some people will just see the message and ignore it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's something is wrong. It's not nice, quite right, but I mean, that is who they are and you can't change it. I mean, there are people that can be ignoring you for over a month and before you know, one day they'll just click on the video and subscribe and all of that. That's, that's one set of people. And another set of people, when you post such videos, right, they will just like open it, subscribe, and they are off. Then another set of people will just watch without subscribing because they feel okay that when they subscribe they have to pay because of the word subscribe i don't know how many times i'm going to say it but let me just say this here again because i will keep saying it subscription on youtube is free of charge whenever tell someone tells you to please subscribe they're not charging you extra data they're not charging you money they're not charging you anything you're just like following someone on facebook following someone on instagram that's the way it works but what instead of follow they wrote subscribe so once you click that button that's it there's you don't have no extra charges and again when you click the subscribe button without watching the video for at least five minutes that subscription doesn't count youtube is going to take it off because they feel is like um it's like a spam I don't know how to explain it. The feel is not from a real account, so they'll take that subscription off. So whenever I say, please don't forget to subscribe, please subscribe to my video videos. When you click on the video or any video of your choice, when you watch, try. I know it's, it can be hard because YouTube is it, it takes data a lot. I understand, but try to watch the video for at least five minutes before subscribing and clicking the like button so it can count. I don't know if that makes sense. Don't just go to my videos and all my hand my channel and just subscribe. It won't count. You have to watch my videos for at least five minutes, then click the subscribe button. That's the only way it's going to count. That's the only way that YouTube will consider that okay, well, a subscriber has been added to your channel. Yeah, so that's how it works basically. You have to you have to watch the videos to subscribe. And I say um, click the bell like button so that that way whenever I post the video you get notifications in your email or wherever I don't know yeah your email yes you get notifications that oh so so and so person has posted the video that way you can always go back to to watch the new video I have but I always send broadcasts like to my people I have their contact so for instance if I don't have your number or I don't have your contact I can't send you broadcast I can't tell you oh I have just uploaded a, uploaded a video so that is why clicking the bell like button is very necessary like turning it on to get notifications whenever i post is very very essential and also whenever i say please like my videos i'm not just telling you to like it doesn't take anything to like a video you just click that hand that's like this and that's all because once you like my videos youtube tends to um show my videos to more people like i, I tend to have more reach more engagement 
people don't know about me they will discover me on their timeline that's the way it works it means okay this video is doing well people really like it so yes youtube will definitely suggest it to more people that's what it means when someone say please like my videos so that's the reason why i always say like 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 my videos and please keep liking my videos you guys like my videos thank you so the next thing i want to talk about is the next struggle that growing youtubers in nigeria go through i don't think this one i don't i think even people out of nigeria also go through this is what filming gears so yeah cameras you see filming gears cameras lights this lens and all that they are so expensive and not everybody who is just starting youtube has the privilege to own those things right so people have to just work with what they have someone like me i use my phone my iphone to make videos and also edit i don't have like a macbook where okay i edit and all those things i don't but i will eventually have some day right everybody st starts from somewhere so there are people who have privilege who already have macbook who can afford to get a camera and all that you're buying different lenses for different purposes you you sometimes you have to have more than one camera one for sit down videos one for vlogs one for like as in different things different lens for different purposes right you have them um, you have to have like um what's it called like um I don't know what this thing called like you have to have memory cards you have to have hard drives and all those things you have to have different lights because you want your video to be of good quality to be like very outstanding and and like popping basically so these things are not cheap they are expensive and most of these people that you see that have got that have these things now they didn't have it when they started right they started from somewhere so maybe, some people start with like android phones some people start with what they have some people that don't even have a ring light but i'm fortunate to have that like i was able to afford that but it grew it, with time like it's a struggle but yeah with time you're going to of course get better and everything so that's what most new or most growing youtubers i think all over the world go through but people, like i said earlier some people are, are fortunate to have these things and just like hit up and start youtube so yeah that's basically then this i think the sixth on my list is exposure exposure like to be enlightened right there are people some people in nigeria don't understand how youtube don't even don't understand how, how youtube works i said that already most times when maybe I'm, I'm out, I'm trying to vlog, like I'm trying to take videos, I'm trying to, I want to like vlog the moment so that I can have a vlog to post and everything. You see people looking at you somehow, like they give you that awful look. Sometimes when you, when you walk into a restaurant, they are approaching you and telling you, oh, cameras are not allowed in here, blah, blah, blah. Like the uh, mini tour I did for Fresh Foot, I'll leave, I'll leave that video here or okay? here, I don't know. Yeah, when I entered, like when I got into the premises, I brought out my phone to make videos, of course. That's why I went there. And the security guy approached me. I was like, oh, sorry, my videos are not allowed here. So I had to lie that I was just taking pictures. And he said, okay. But I took a video. I, I put my phone on silent. So he didn't even know if I was taking a picture or a video at all. When I was done taking the, like, clips of the outside premises, I was then I was walking towards where you have the, what's it called, supermarket. So when I climbed the staircase when i got to the entrance another one stopped me i said oh cameras are not allowed blah blah, blah. i said okay no fine no problem i turned off my phone got into the supermarket then went around and then i was able to film a bit you could see that the video was short and i was just like filming bits and bits so when i was done with that section and i said let me go over to where you have the restaurant at the time it wasn't even functioning then i think they were having a meeting or something so i couldn't really get like a good view of that place then they came again and met me blah 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 you can't rec you can't film this one that one they even said okay you're going to meet our i can't remember what they call that guy like the customer service or something that's to give me so so the guy came and like spoke to me and said okay that he was going to arrange a meeting for me to come like on a good day and have like a proper video of the place like a proper tour of the place he can even tell me what the place is about and all those things like he gave me a few like he gave me he told me a few things about the place but let me shock you guys you know that <laughs> these people never got back to me that was just a scope to let me like to stop me from making the videos but before he spoke to me i'd already got what i wanted like something that could work that was why i had that video like i think it's like five minutes or so that was how i could i was able to make that video the only place i didn't have an issue was i think where they sell like fruits not fruits like fruit juice area downstairs and the seaside nobody stopped me so i took proper 
clips of that place so yeah so what, what am i trying to say most people don't understand some people even tell you like there are some places you walk into if you want to take a video like make a video rather they'll tell you to pay to pay before using like pay before making such videos especially if they see you with a camera with a professional camera they'll tell you to pay because they feel okay of course you're going to make money out of it so they also want to make money out of it but they tend to forget that you're equally giving them exposure people that are not even in nigeria that may want to come to, into nigeria may watch your video and say okay let me check out this place let me try this place out i mean youtube is worldwide anybody can see your video from anywhere so they always they always forget that people are equally helping them it's like a two-way thing it's not like it's not like one person is gaining and the other person is losing so they they, are, they haven't come to terms with that that they ha like they haven't accepted that fact yet and i hope that with time most of these places will no, I my lashes. I hope that with time most of these places will come to realize the essence of these things the essence of these things and be more open-minded yeah and accept this whole like accept the new like what the world is turning into basically accept the whole new technology and how things work yeah or where the world is going to right now because i mean in some some countries when people see you with camera vlogging they are so nice they are so friendly they want to even say hi they want to come up on your like on the camera on the video they want to say hi to whatever you're doing like who like say hi basically they are friendly but when you come to this part of the world the way they'll be people looking at you lagos is even kind of lagos has some sort of exposure in this aspect if it's compared to potakot like <laughs> when i went to potakot and i did that um uh, what's it called that bole video that's potakot street food hmm. you know they they, ha they had three stands like three different people were selling so because i did not buy from the other two people of course i can't buy from everybody i obviously buy from one person so the guy that was selling at the other stand said something really stupid it was like I beg, I beg, go no video me. Like you could see the anger and frustration because I'm not buying from you. So what? I should who who is interested in you basically? Who wants you to even be in my video? Those kind of things. So he just he said some awful things, but I just ignored him and did what I went there for, and and that was it. I mean, sometimes there's there that's that's ugh, the struggle. Like we go through a lot just to see the videos you guys see here. So that's why you should please, please keep keep supporting keep supporting it's, it's it's really helps and it goes a long way so yeah the seventh tip i have that's my final tip is called limitation to content choices yeah so as a growing youtuber i don't want, i'm trying so hard not to say small as a growing youtuber you're you're kind of limited to some certain kind of videos yeah okay sometimes now you go on youtube like i'll go on youtube right to check for like video ideas that i can create and everything there's some things i like to do but i'm like who sabi you <laughs> like who knows you nobody knows you. you're not famous yet like you're not known you're still growing it's just like saying okay i want to do what i eat in it what i eat in a day or something like that who cares about what you eat in a day who cares about the music you eat? nobody gives a fuck about it so i will not be doing this kind of videos right now if someone like did my mommy is doing what i eat in a day or like if I decide to post what I eat in a day, me too, I'll now post what I eat in a day. Like, nobody's interested in that, to be honest. So, sometimes you just have to apply wisdom when you make some certain moves or decisions, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yes. Yeah, so, and most times when I vlog, like when I post vlogs, if you guys notice, I hardly talk. Like, I hardly speak. Because I believe people don't really know me. Or people don't know me like that. So that's why i try to like sh just show fun places but i think i need to start talking or speaking more that's 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 i think that's where people can connect with me better i intend to improve on that like to speak more and everything so yeah those are like the few challenges that growing youtubers in nigeria go through i mean if you can relate to that let me know in the comment section down below and we hope on god that things will get better and we'll grow and reap the fruit of our labor so yeah that's it basically for this video thank you so much guys for sticking with me for watching this video i 
really really appreciate please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i already told you what thumbs up means so why you should always give the videos thumbs up don't forget to do that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell like button i've already explained this thing to you guys so please don't hesitate okay yeah so thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in my next one in the meantime always stay beautiful and blessed bye